family and friends and praying for God to give you his peace and protection, wisdom today, his energy, enable you to do what you need to do today, even if that's just simple stuff, even if that's just get up and make up the bed. And if it's something really difficult, maybe you got to make a tough decision today. But I'm praying for you. <clears throat> Don't you make the mistake right now of thinking that things are always going to feel like they feel right now. I was thinking today how we talk about getting back to normal. You know how you hear the phrase, this is a new normal or what's a new normal? And the Lord was speaking to me, there's no such thing as normal. There's never been anything normal. What is normal? You know, that just depends on your narrative, right? The way we think things are supposed to be or have to be. Certainly if you read the Bible, there's nothing normal about, you know, fishermen being charged to take the gospel to the whole world, tax collectors, prostitutes being welcomed into the kingdom of heaven. That wasn't normal. Shepherd boy fighting a, a giant. Some people say Goliath was seven feet. Some people say nine. All I know is he was a lot bigger than David, so there was nothing normal about fighting a big, heavily armed giant with a slingshot. Yeah, put it in the comment. No such thing as normal. No such thing as normal. But definitely we're all adjusting and it's hitting some harder than others, but we need each other right now. So, you know, we're praying for each other. <clears throat> I'm gonna talk to my staff in about an hour and 38 minutes, 32 minutes, 42 minutes, 10 a.m. And I'm um, just going to share with them how, how God is using right now this time to prune our priorities as a ministry. Make sure that we're fully in the moment, awake, aware, leaned into what God is doing. So... I'm also excited to keep preaching um, this Sunday. The Lord just reminded me of a um, little message that I got excited about a few weeks ago, but I didn't get to preach it. I think I'm gonna preach it Sunday. And I got something coming for y'all tomorrow. Tomorrow. My sermon is gonna come out tomorrow from Easter. It was kind of different. It was a lot different. It wasn't normal, but normal is overrated. You know that. I mean, the, the Bible says in Romans 12, 1, don't be conformed to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. In other words, God wants to give us a new normal in the way we think, in the way we move. Even in the way that we address negativity, in the way we find ways to fight battles in the natural realm with our spiritual weapons for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds we don't wrestle against flesh and blood but against spiritual wickedness principalities <sighs> so we're not normal as believers and you know the world has always been inside out upside down the kingdom of God is uh, none new normal so the Lord is showing us that but I'm going to get y'all that sermon tomorrow and something else this week quick as we can quick as we can as quick as we can we are working on it good stuff man I didn't know what to do about this pandemic because you feel so helpless you can't even touch people physically so I just tried to make myself available to God and all the people in our church and our team I've just watched them try to be available to God to feed your soul and your spirit with everything God gives us during this time, everything, every message, every song, get it to you as much as we can, as quick as we can, as much as we can, as quick as we can, as good as we can. But we're gonna have some good stuff coming for you in the next 48 hours, 24, 48, something like that. You're welcome, you're welcome. Mm -hmm.
good morning. I just told Holly to be in my video with me, but I don't know if she's dressed for the occasion. <laughs> she declined. <laughs> All right, we'll do it later. We'll do it live. Yeah. Just sending love to y'all today. I'm glad the connection held up so I could tell y'all that. A lot of the things that we thought were normal were not God's normal. And sometimes God gives us disruption to our routine as a gift to help us refocus or recenter our priorities. Am I freezing up? Can y'all still see me? South Africa, Australia. And a lot of things, what's normal in one culture is not normal in another. You know what I mean? Sometimes when I go to Australia, they'll tell me certain words that I say are bad words in Australia. And to me, it's a normal word here. So the language of one culture that's normal, like the language of fear is so normal in some of our lives that we don't even recognize when we're speaking it. It's just a frequency that we become so attuned to. It's like background noise. We don't even know it anymore. We just live in that state and we call it normal. But, um, you know, just being anxious and shook and rattled all the time, that's not, that's not the normal we have to accept. So a lot of the things that I thought were normal, maybe were not normal. And maybe God is trying to, to show me that his norms, his patterns the renewing of my mind. I'm trying to learn that. And then what old stories have I told myself that this is just normal? This is how I have to be. This is the limits I have to embrace. This is the ways I have to react. Well, maybe I don't. Maybe that's not normal. Maybe I have a new nature. Maybe Second Corinthians 5.17, if anyone is in Christ, he's a new creation. The old is gone, the new is come. That's about a new normal. It's not about a new physical body. It's not. That's not what happens when I get saved. I don't get a new physical brain. Maybe I get a new normal. And so we're adjusting to that. Uh, the mind of the spirit is life and peace. Anyway, just a quick little um, chat with y'all. I'm going to leave this up in case y'all want to watch it again. I know it's been technically a little glitchy, but I feel like the word is, is um, on point for today. Love y'all.